Plington. We are once again in the IXEG 737. And as you can hear, we are on VATSIM. Um, you cannot hear the airplane, unfortunately, because you wouldn't be able to hear the ATC. But uh, anyway, we're climbing up to flight level 310, where we just departed on the POGI 5 departure from, let's see, San Diego, Lindbergh Field. And you can see the airport still right there. Um, and we're headed to Phoenix Sky Harbor. And we're, yeah, like I said, we're coming up th to level 310. And we're good. So, um, I did notice a few things about this airplane. The fuel pr or oil pressure, when you are taxiing, my oil pressure was at 20 on both engines. And, it, it, I mean, I was reading about it. Those should have been on. I should have kept an eye on them. Uh, anyway, it's a good temperature to turn them on anyway. There's no visible precipitation. Uh, like I was saying, though, I read on it, and it said, you know, it, it's a feature, not a bug. And that, you know, the real airplanes actually do that. There's no two identical... There's no two identical engines, and, you know, they're never going to read perfectly the same. So that's actually a feature. So if any of you guys were wondering about that... Anyway, after I'm done with my departures, I like to switch over to the map mode instead of the, um, well, Airbus terms, the arc mode instead of the, um, instead of the, uh, what, what do you call that? The center? CTR? That's what I call it. Anyway, we're squawking 5724. And our call sign is Southwest 216. And we're flying the Southwest Lone Star again. I don't know if I've uploaded the video with the Lone Star. And I see they've updated it. Um, I have the version 1.05 now. And um, the pilot, there's actually pilots in the airplane now, you can see. And their heads move. I mean, just without touching the controls, they just move. But they seem kind of happy. Anyway. <laughs> um, I do have these steam gauges on. I seem to like those better for some reason. Well, not better. I have, I have equal liking for them. But I, I'm going to stick with these for a little bit. I have this beautiful wing view. Just request Lima India. Sorry, I'm really possible to get the. And we're uh, headed to Imperial. Viking one affirmative, the uh, localizer runway 27 right approach. We're not looking at the 27 right approach, things are fighting well. I'm sorry, sir, we're being cleared down 7,000, Viking one. Back in one day, hit one two thousand. Where? Where was that one two thousand? Back home. And we're just watching my center fuel tank getting sucked down ridiculously fast. Now one thing was that American three U sixteen thousand about to cross Angley. American three fifty three lost to the center rider. Hmm, I've never seen the center pumps go down that fast. Anyway, airplane seems to be looking good. No pressurization failures like there has been earlier. I had to return to the airport earlier. But, um, I'm really liking flying on Vaxxon. Liking one, just going to maintain that 9,000. 9,000, like one. And I already have my landing altitude, my cabin altitude. Well, I'm not sure how to do the cabin altitude. If anybody knows, please let me know in the comments. And please also let me know in the comments if you like me doing the VATSIM flights. Because I enjoy doing them very much. just checking everything out on this plane and actually I did notice something you can test the oxygen you can hear to go pssst. 
And I think that's part of the checklist up here. Somewhere in there. I should have used this earlier. I forgot about the checklist there. I have my own printed checklist. Los Angeles Center, good afternoon. Southern 1021 Heavy, we are clear runway 20 right at Delta over at John Wayne. Southern Air 1021 Heavy, Taxi, a bit of a cross Southern Alpha. Alpha, Southern Air 1021 Heavy, Taxi. And we're coming up on flight level 310. It is reducing the speed, isn't it? It is. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Why is it reducing speed? American 7 Heavy, Los Angeles. American 7 Heavy is uh, with you about uh, 40 from Avenue. American 7 Heavy, Los Angeles. Center. Good evening, Scott. 715. So, uh, yesterday, in real life, we had a microburst here. All right, 715. And it was bad. It was hailing and everything. Wish it could have been on X-Plane Flying. That would be cool. Because I've done a... Well, it wouldn't be cool, but it would be cool at the same time. Anyway, we're on... We just got off of... No, what? No, we just got off of SoCal Approach. We're on Los Angeles Center now. Viking 1, depart Julian, heading 160, Vector 2, final approach course. Hmm. Julian, heading 160, I could do this course. and Viking flip out the controllers, but I don't think we can American do American 7 Heavy, rare contact, 33 miles north of half. Maintain flight level 310, I'm slower for you, and approximately 24 miles. Well, maintain 310 and wait for your call. 16, cross the Mohawk at flight level 250. Don't see any traffic. Don't hear of any traffic. Just listening to all the people who. Southwest 216 cross Mohawk at flight level 250. Alright, was that Mohawk at 250 for Southwest 216? Southwest 216 affirmative cross Mohawk at flight level 250. Roger, Mohawk at 250 for Southwest 216. Okay, I do not know which fix is Mohawk, so I'm going to come in here, and I'm actually going to start descending 250 now. Do a thousand, and we'll figure out where it is. Mohawk. I've never heard that one. Los Angeles Center, Southwest 216, what is the ICAO for Mohawk? I don't think it's called the ICAO, but uh, whatever. That's for the airports, duh. Southwest 216, it's Mike Oscar, Hotel Alpha Kilo. I believe it's on the higher one arrival, but let me double check. Stand by. Roger. Alright, let's analyze this here. Oh, really, Sim Brief? You're gonna do that to me? Alright, Sim Brief doesn't like me. Alpha 216, a minute instruction, cross the GPS at flight level 250. Roger, flight level 250 for Southwest 216. Alpha 216 just verified, Judith at flight level 250. Judith at 2504 Southwest 216. Pretty sure he said Judith. American 353, did the light controller give you a runway assignment? American 353, the controller did assign me runway 25 left. Okay, uh, where's Judith? American 353, Roger, thank you. Judith should be after. American 353, no problem. Heeds. No, it should be after Hogs. 
So, how do you spell it? J Julia Uniform Delta T. Hiking 1, descend to maintain 8,500. Expect lower in 1, 6, huh? Right, uh, 8,500, we expect lower in that, uh, Viking. Alright, so, this is what we're gonna do. This is the way I'm doing it. American 7 Heavy Cross Simon at 1,000, the Los Angeles Altimeter 1,800, 1,200, 1,000, Charlie. Alright, so I'm going to add this up. American 7, thank you. We're a good 50 miles. Would you like us to proceed to direct to Judith for Southwest 216 because we're a good 50 or 60 miles away? 216. Negative, just be on your file and route for now. I just need you to cross Judith at file on the 250. Roger, we got you. We'll cross it at 250. Sorry for the trouble, Southwest 216. Alright, so we're just going to do altitude hold for now. We shouldn't have started our descent yet because, uh, yeah. not good. I don't know if we should go back up to 310. I don't think there's really time enough to go up to 310. So we'll just leave it. We'll just leave it as it is. Alright, let's see where our nearest airports are. Kilo November Yankee Lima. What's my alternate? Uh, it's, um, Kilo, uh-oh, no, Kilo Papa Romeo Charlie. Welcome to the American 192 at 2,000 climbing to 5,000. Yeah, so we should do a flight in the SSG after this. That would be fun. Three, five, zero, and you're right you keep it on my recording here. One American gigabyte, one, yeah, I need to fix that bitrate. That's ridiculously huge for a video. Viking 1, turn right heading 170, just send him in 6,000. Check out that scenery. That's some cool scenery. Alright there, that looks like San Andreas Fault. <laughs> no, I think we are... Yeah, we're in... Yeah, we're already in Arizona. Well, Hogs, where are we exactly? We're coming up to... Bravo Zulu Alpha. No, actually, we're about to cross the border. Not the, the, the big border, I mean the... Alright, so we're just... If we just Viking go one, reduce speed to a little south... Yeah, our then now, we'll north. head into Mexico, because it's just that way, right there. So, um, we'll be crossing in just a minute here. Yeah, he gave us the wrong fix. Mohawk wasn't on the... Hider one arrival. That's all right though. This isn't correct, is it? Viking one seven miles from Barrett, turn right heading no two way. five zero, maintain six thousand one hundred. Correction six thousand until established on the localizer. Clear localizer, DME. Correction localizer Delta approach. Yeah, so it would be cool when they get that uh, cabin. Nice and first. Oops. After Barrett, you're just seven miles from Barrett. You have to look like now. Turn right, heading two nine zero. zero. Join the localizer. How far are we from Judith? Right. Right, we're still a little ways so, uh, how about we do a layover? You know what? Screw a layover. Let's fly back to San Diego. I don't know what runway they're going to give us for our arrival. But, um... An American 275 heavy will back on question. American 275 heavy, big and 
the last part of your transmission was cut off. American 275 Heavy, we are back on board. Okay, here. that should not have happened. That was American bad. American 275 Heavy, Roger. Thank you. I was wondering what was going on. I forgot. I thought that was still on Vino. Three zero 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 I can one Roger, you're still clear for the localizer. Alright, we'll see. Delta right here approach minute. circle to your runway right. What I say localizer delta. Is that negative? Definitely right, Viking one. Viking one, report the airport inside. No, that that's not negative. What alright, we can turn our anti ice off now. That is insanely American 275 warm for our temper for our Have you altitude. Graham at flight level 180. That's insane. Graham 180 American 275. What's the temperature? Oh, 106. American Are you 353. Serious? It appears you're off the CV to arrival. Turn left heading 230. Join the look. American 253. Turn left heading 260. Join the localizer. Hey. American 353 negative, flying 230, join the runway 25 left, localizer, maintain Alright, so I'll go over what happened throughout their flight. We departed, as filed, POGI 5, Imperial Transition, then as filed. Um. 189, it appears you're deviating from the Holtz 1 departure track, stay in tension. We. Climbed to 13000, we leveled off and contacted the SoCal Approach, told us to go to Los Angeles Center. We American did. 189 Heavy, it appears you're off the Bolts 1 departure track, say intention. And, um. Well, yeah, that's what happened. Center is we'll, we'll leave it at that. With mm -hmm. you. Climb down to uh, 1500 with you. I American think this is very well modeled. Los Angeles Center Raider contact. I like how it's got that wear and everything Park. on it. The seats could be better, but I know these right the makers of this airplane. I've been working on it for five good years. I've been reading on this plane, and um, I've read a lot before I actually bought it myself. But, um... Yeah. So I'm going to start doing more VATS and flights. What's going on with our wind there? <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing how somebody can actually make a plane look like this. I'm thinking about making my own plane an X-Plane. Going to Plane Maker. No way I could do something as advanced as this. They've been working on this for five years. 10,000 hours of testing. More than that. Okay, we're coming up on Phoenix, so we're going to put it right... I don't know why that was on warm. I did do this cold and dark from San Diego. We'll see what time it is, and we'll see if we'll do another flight. Los Angeles Center, good afternoon, Columbia 4, take a mic on the ground at John Wayne on the west side, IFR to uh, John Wayne as well, please. Alright, we're about to come up on Judith. No, Judith. American 1242, resume on navigation. Man, I've been told to resume on navigation, on navigation in a long time. Actually, I'm not trying to push it or nothing, but we can speed up to 310. Viking 1, take it. And we'll be good still. Viking 1, Roger, circle set. Runway 27, right click land. Runway 27, right click land. I'm making 29 now. Go ahead. I'm going to hold you for the past 2 0 miles, 20 miles. You're off the whole departure track in tension. American uh, 1 a.m. I got, uh, I was, I had some news on, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'm heading straight to, uh, Bravo Lima Hotel right now, the Elway. Okay, American 1 a.m. you. Unless I give you instructions to DV off the arrival, or correction to departure, just please try and fly as published, okay? Next time. Because it, uh, I'm not expecting any airplanes coming in from that side. Alright, we can go down. American 1 a.m., sorry, that was my bad day. I thought it was going to be a good one. Reduce speed to 300. 
to you. I appreciate it. I'm going to maintain flight level 350 and if you direct flight, this Bravo will leave the hotel and resume my navigation. Make money now, you're climbing, making flight level 350 and proceed to Troop Bravo, you know. American 353, you're at a 7,000 now, you're at a 5.7. I'm not sure right you started your descent, but American 353, you're 4 miles from the gate. Turn right heading 270, maintain 5 until established on the localizer. You're cleared to ILS, runway 25 left approach. So that's for Man, this controller's getting aggravated, you can tell. American 353, turn left 270, until established on the localizer for ILS, runway 25 left, descend to 5,000. American 353, American 270, join the runway 25 left localizer. American 353 sounds like he's being a dick. American 353, jerk, I mean. Seven zero. Turn right into two seven zero. Turn right into two five left one glider inbound. Okay, we're so close to Judith. American two seventy five. Descend via view correction. Descend oh no! Over to a level. Oh, it's getting to foggy. Turn right into five left approach. Okay, we'll just turn by the river two to cross. Hopefully, we can get vectored to runway yeah, eight. That would be good. I like getting vectored to eight. Vectored. Vectors to eight is. I'm having heavy cross nice Santa Monica at 7,000. Uh, we didn't cross Judith at level 2. Oh, sorry, so we we have, have failed the controller. Incline to 5,000. We have failed. American 7 cross Santa Monica at 7,000. Right. <laughs> I better shut up because he's going to give us something. Santa Monica at 7,000. Southwest 216, leaving the airspace eastbound off Kirky Center offline. Radar services terminated. Advisory advisor, your frequency approved. Roger, two advisory for Southwest 216. Have a good one. 122.8. American 1242. 122.8. Roger, Man, we gotta go to advisory. Why is Albuquerque offline? That makes me mad. Um, whose airspace are we in? I guess Phoenix? Phoenix traffic, Southwest 216 is a 737-300 crossing Judith at flight level 250. Headed, we're on the Hyder 1 arrival into Phoenix Sky Harbor. Well, we can go back to VNAV now. And we can descend. There we go. So I guess we're not going to get vectored, unfortunately. We're 2,600. So we'll be at 1,500. So we should do 3,100. That'll give us at 2,000 AGL. Maybe we can cheat a little and do control T. <laughs> no, just kidding. I made it to Phoenix in real minutes. I made it there in 50 minutes. And Simbrief is telling me an hour 20 minutes is going to take me. But no way. Not for me. So we're staying on advisory once we start our descent. We'll let everybody know. So um, I think I'm going to do a tutorial with the IXEG737. We'll wait for somebody to come online there and then we'll tune into there. Um, anyway, my tutorial on the X737 um, it got 630 views and it's still climbing. Team Southwest. <laughs> yeah, so I, I really do like Southwest Airlines. That's who we fly for, or that's who we fly with when we actually fly. So these right here, that's pretty cool how X Plane decided to add those. American landing at Peril. I don't even know where that is. Uh, ooh. 
Ooh, 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 ooh. Nobody online still. I was hoping to get vectored. Um, anyway, that is a salt lake right there. That's just salt from a dried up lake, I do believe. So that's what that is. This would be a cool view for a video right here. Without the cabin or something. Without the fuselage there in the way. The beautiful fuselage. But anyway, like I was saying, what if I do tutorial with the IXCG? Do a, um, cold and dark. Okay, we should have started our descent, but I'm just going to do it now. Because my VNAV is all messed up. Well, we're still a good 67 miles, so... We'll just set our vertical sp Well, we don't... Oh, goodness. So beside myself on this. Speed up 320. Because we're not going to need thrust for it. Because we're going to be descending. Oh, we're not going to be able to fly back to San Diego to Lindbergh as I was wanting because there's no controllers. Phoenix traffic southwest 216 descending to 3100 very slowly for the Hyder 1 arrival. Phoenix traffic. Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix. I like Phoenix. I don't think we need any speed brake. Do we? Do we? Do we? Hmm? 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 If you watch it, you can just see the overspeed line just going whoop. Oh, we might need a little speed brake. Once we cross one zero thousand, we're gonna have to, um, unfortunately, slow down. <laughs> we should probably slow down now, but uh, you know, ooh, some mountains. Yeah, we'll slow down to three ten, just a wee bit here. Alright, we're going to be landing on runway 26, so let's set our heading 260 so we can cross-check it. 2980 for the altimeter. We'll check that in a minute. So, I have a question. Hopefully you guys are watching this part of the video. You can answer this in the comments below. What do you do if you're on Unicom, like I am now, if it was an X-plane and it was real life? What do you do if you descend below 10,000 feet? and you don't know the altimeter setting what do you do I mean you can't just stay on standard do you I mean you can't guess either so do you just look at your AGL your real altitude here I mean what if you don't have that in your plane you just fly visually I mean you can't really do that you're gonna tell a plane you're at you know 6,000 but they're reading something else they're at 6,000 as well they're at your same altitude but theirs says like seven or eight thousand and you know Skywest 125. I think that's what's that. I think that's what that is. Okay, I'm not sure about that because I'm not really. Like I said, I'm not really sure about that. Whoa, I think I bumped the rudder back. Yeah, I did.
Okay, now we're good. I did not know. <laughs> Alright, so we have the field in sight. Woohoo. Alright, we need to slow way down. We're going way too fast, so let's say 220. And we'll bring him back to flight to tent. Yeah, it's going to get a little shaky. And we can descend about 2,500 at flight to tent and still slow down. Yes, I know, this is an amazing airplane. Not to rub it into you guys who can't get it, but... I'm just trying to, you know, get IXEG some good service. So why are these not cross-checked? What, what's going on here? Once they're 200 feet off. Maybe that's radio altitude? No? <laughs> Good info, chief. <laughs> Alright, I don't know if we'll just be... Uh-oh, we were going way too fast. And we can't do any flaps, so we're at our flight to tent. Well, that's flight to tent there. Not like that made a difference, really. Alright, we'll set our auto brakes to... Well, actually, we'd like to get to the gate at a decent time, so three... Just make everybody's eyeballs pop out their head. And the landing light's on. And it is very hot outside. Oops. Hey, nobody saw that. Nobody saw that I just did that. Okay, we're going to be off of the Hider 1 arrival. Oh no, we shouldn't have selected heading select yet. Alright, so we're pretty much vectoring ourselves because we were going too fast like an idiot. We we're doing the stupid thing. So now we can bring him back to flight to tent so we don't rip our spoilers off. That wouldn't be great. I think in the air it won't go past flight to tent anyway. We can actually check. Yeah, see, it won't go past, past flight to tent. So, we're good. Why does it do that? It shifts me over. Okay, we're good. Altimeter two nine seven seven. Twenty nine seventy seven. We'll cross check it. All right, for landing check, engine starts with just two continuous. Yeah, that's all I'm doing. So we'll check and well we can't really see. Two 
two six. Uh, we need to turn on terrain because I know the weather is fine. Turn on terrain. 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 Pull out. Pull out. Alrighty. Spoilers up. My mistake. Down. One, three. Slow down to 180. Initial index approach. Yeah. 30. I did a 15 degree landing earlier and it was horrible. I'm not doing it again. So I'll do flap 30. Alright, we're at 2500. We can go ahead and turn heading 260. Left 260. How far are we? Alright, flaps one, two, five. Oops, wrong button. Alright, we can put this away. That's my notes. Well, we still do need it, but... 47 minutes. We're gonna take control in a minute. And we'll bring it back to... Well, what is our approach speed exactly? I already forgot. I think it's like 128. 127. Alright, speed brakes. Armed. And for anybody who cares or is wondering, this is Mr. X Scenery, amazing scenery artist. 1, 2, 3, do them increments of 3, and then we have one more notch of flaps. And of course it wants to speed up, which we can do for it. Actually, we'll take the airplane. My airplane. Gear down. Lights on. Set 127. Is our landing speed, but we'll keep it about. Um. We already disengaged the autopilot. Why is it making a big deal of it? Oh! We we pushed the auto throttle twice, so that disengages the autopilot. Anyway. We're good. Okay, we're not going to do our landing check yet. Flaps 30. Please. Please, please, please. Now, I need to get Smart Copilot. That would be so cool. I've been wanting that program, plugin, add on for so long now. Far
going to go ahead and get lined up here. And we're going to keep it about 135 on our land. And a little bit of a crab. Is that the field there? Oh, I know that's field, but I... Alright, there's the runway. Alright, we couldn't really see it very well. The scenery hasn't loaded. <laughs> Minimums is 235. This video size is way too large. It's ridiculous. Checked. 1,000. You're a nice good altitude. Six hundred. Runway is in sight. Gears down, three green flaps set. Runway is in sight. Clearance has been received. End of search, which is on continuous. We're landing. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure they are, yeah. Checked for 500. Four. Approaching minimums. Landing. Checked. I greased it. Versus fifty. Fifty-five. Eighty knots. Seventy. Verse idle. Sixty. Verse stowed. There we go. And auto brakes disarmed. And we'll exit the runway at Bravo 5. Okay, well, that was very nice. <laughs> Alright, so we'll get clear of the runway. Lights. Lights. So many lights. So many things. APU start. And we'll let everybody know we're clear of the runway. APU should have had enough time to start now. Park break. Clean up. Sure, clean up nicely. There we go. Clear of 2-6. To the gate via Bravo. There we go. Landing light is still on. AP gens. Fasten seatbelt still on. AP gen. APU 
engines off. Engine starts, which is off. Oh, don't go there. Don't feel like restarting the engines. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and get this flight plan cleared out of here. Maybe we'll do another flight. <laughs> not. No, not right now at least. Always does that crap. Always does that crap. Alright, just small bug. Radar's off. Wow. We actually memorized the checklist, but we're still running it down. And the last four traffic calls are for me. Man, who wouldn't want to fly to Phoenix Sky Harbor? Actually, I think I have a custom view that I saved that I do like very, very, very much. Oh, check this out. Yeah, there's a little trick to getting out of the airplane. I don't think I'm allowed to show you though. And I bet everybody's like, how is he so center line? Well, that there is why I'm so center line. Okay, there's no southwest gate. <laughs> I mean, uh, I guess we can park at Delta, but I feel unwanted there. So, um,. Yeah, let's just park at Spirit and Delta. That That's kind of just, you know. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Phoenix Sky Harbor. Oops, our clock is still ticking. Well, now it's not. Made it here about the same time. Took me the same time. And I will keep you guys with me until I secure the airplane. Man, it's hot in here, though. Whew, it is very hot in here. We need to turn this all the way cold. All the way cold. Man, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say screw my passengers when I get my airline license. Alright, here we go. We'll park in between these two deltas. And we will kill our left engine. Yes, we will kill our left engine. And you hear that beautiful sound. Well, at least I do. Not to rub it in your face, but, uh... Alright, so we can just hold the tow brake. Just... Oh, not parking brake. I said tow brake. And we'll differential. I shut down the wrong engine. That was really stupid of me. I should have shut down the right engine. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about differential the right way. I did not think that one through. Alright, land her off. Anti. Position. Okay, we need to get auto gate installed. Good enough, right there. Park brake, right engine. Let's go to the overhead. Hydraulics. APU. APU. Ground power will set. Get on the ground power. APU bleed off. Galley stays on. APU goes off. Window heat. Pedostatics. All of my fuel pumps. I think we're good. Alright everybody, thank you for joining me on this Southwest Lone Star approach in the Hider 1 approach into Phoenix. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more of my videos. My 10 gigabyte videos, so um, anyway, thank you for joining me and hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you.